Okay, like I was saying, sorry, I got candy in my mouth. Um, this is the start of the Mickey Mouse infections. So what you need is like a template for the Mickey Mouse. It's the only thing I could find. I couldn't even find a cookie cutter or anything. So this is the only thing that I could find. And I get to use these in the in the vlog that you saw on Vlogtober Day 2. Um, her mom is throwing her a Minnie Mouse and I'm helping her. So these stickers will come in handy for that. <laughs> um, you're gonna need a glue stick, scissors, um, I have poster board, but you can have <laughs> stop. There's some templates online that you can find DIY where you can print off the Mickey Mouse shape templates and use card stock. But I just got the black poster board. It's five sheets in there. Get down and get out. She said she needed 20, but I got three because you can hopefully I'll be able to cut them into fours. Um, and use it that way. So I have three sheets of that. And then get out. I have some red construction paper here. And the buttons for the back. And a glue, hot glue gun. And a glue stick. So, and I also have a tape measure because I, I didn't print out the imitations yet. I'm gonna go ahead and make the base. And what I did was take the back, where did it go? I've already did this part. I took the back off of the sticker booklet, cut it out and made the ears and like the U shape instead of it having going straight across. Um, I actually made like the Mickey Mouse shape. So I'm going to do that. And I first need to measure here. Sheets of the construction paper. I do not know if you guys can see that. But I need to move some of this stuff out of the way. Like this right there. And this little setup. I need to move that out of the way. So let me see. Okay. Okay. So there you go. I love my mini tripod. It's not a full size, so this is you no, know, it's poster board. So I said this is thick poster board, but just gonna take a sheet here and see how many I can get out of this. Maybe not four as I thought. This is too big. So one, two. <sighs> Two, so that would be 10, 5 and 2, that's 10, 10 in one pack, 10 in another pack, that's 20, so it still works, it's just not as small as we hoped, so, okay, what I'm going to do here is trace Hopefully it shows. Trace the outline of the Mickey Mouse. Okay, so there's one outline. Okay, let's do this over because clearly it doesn't work that way either. We're gonna get this wrong. Cause there ain't no I will. Go sit down. So we're gonna trace this again. Thank you. And I think I'm gonna have to stagger the stencils for this to work. Yeah, we're going to have to stagger them. But as long as two fits, I'm not worried about it. So. Yeah, these are going to be some big invitations. 
I don't think the stencils for the other ones aren't that big though. So these are big. If you don't want them this big, you can like do the stencils or try to find. Um, I was trying to find like a cookie cutter, a bigger cookie cutter, not a small, because it seems like they only had the small ones, or like a pancake cutter or sandwich cutter in a Mickey Mouse shape form, and they are nowhere to be found. And the ones that I did find on Amazon were like ridiculously expensive, and I'm not paying all that for something that I won't even use after this. So, yeah. Those are the two stencils here. And I'll come back once they're cut out, okay? Okay, y'all, so I'm back. And these are the first two of the Mickey Mouse invitation shapes. So these are the first two. And once you get the first out the way, you just continue to cut until you get the desired amount. So with me, I have 18 more to go. So I'll come back after all of these are cut and then show you the next step. So. Later, y'all. Okay, y'all, I am back. I have cut out 20 <laughs> Mickey Mouse background of black um, heads as the imitations. And I measured the bottom of this Avengers bucket and it actually fits into the circle. So what I'm going to do is take this and measure this on the red paper of the circles. I only need 10 because I'm gonna cut them in half. And then um, once I do that, once I cut them out, well, you guys know how to measure a circle, so I don't have to show you that. But once I get to cut them out, um, I'll come back and I'll show you guys how I'm going to add them on. So stay tuned and I'll come back once I cut out the circles and everything. Okay, so I have the 10 reds circles here um, they're pretty even but oh well and I'm just gonna cut directly down the middle here for the bottom of Mickey Mouse so now we have the bottoms some are bigger than the other but oh well now we have the bottoms and what I'm going to do is take one Fits perfectly though. Take it and glue it down with the glue stick. So, if you guys can see that here. Okay, there. Let me do this. One half is bigger than the other. So, take that. This is not going to be even at all but I can trim the black I mean it doesn't have to be perfect this is like the butt of the thing so I have my glue stick here it's going to take that paper flip it over this part that has the lines on it from when I was drawing so that's going to be the butt the back and then I'm going to just glue here so there we go that is glued and now we have I'm going to do another one um let's see oh that fits okay-ish it's there This is the side with the lines. And glue. There we go. So, now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and then I'll come back when it's time for the button. So, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I didn't like the, the smaller ones. Um, so what I did was folded a couple sheets of red paper, traced half of the circle, and 
boom, you have perfect squares. I don't know why I didn't think of this the first time instead of tracing them, because oh my God. But now I'm just going to cut them straight down the middle on the crease and you have perfectly equal squares. So instead of tracing the bucket a whole circle and doing it that way, just make this easier on yourself. Fold a piece of paper, trace half of your circle, and you have equal halves the whole time. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'll come back when I'm finished. <laughs> Man, well, it's, it's my first time doing something like this. So you know, you live, you learn. But I'll come back and show you guys. Okay, y'all, so I am done, and this is how they look so far. So you have the red bottoms on the end of the, and this is going to be the back, and this right here is where I will put the wording of the invitations. I was originally going to just glue the outside and let this be a pocket, but I'm like, that doesn't stay, and you know, you can lose the paper, so just glue this entire red piece down I mean, now it's time to add the buttons and when i print out i have to change the date and the time and the place of the um party because we booked a different venue than we what she originally planned so this is where this will be so now oops sorry now you need your glue gun and your glue stick so and I love animal print as you guys can see um, and I thought this was just so cute and I got this from Walmart it was like four bucks for the mini size so and what I'm going to do with these buttons is I'm going to sort out some buttons but I'm going to use different ones on different invitations so they're all not just gonna be this plain circular they're gonna be different ones different sizes so let me get this hot glue gun set up and then I'll come back and show you guys how I do it. Okay y'all, so while I'm waiting for the hot glue gun to heat up, I'm going to go ahead and start sorting out my buttons um, and what I want to use. So, let me see if y'all can see that right there. Okay. You can, but my battery's about to die, so hold on. Okay, don't worry about this y'all, that's it um glue stick so like i'm saying i'm going to go ahead and sort out some buttons i'm just going to push them out and let's see oh, i love this and this was an assortment it has i don't even know how many it has in here i don't know but it's a lot and it's a 4.5 ounce bag of buttons so i'm just going to go through so that's one, that's one. Okay, that's one pair. Two pair. And like I said, they're not gonna be different. They're gonna be different sizes and different shapes. So it doesn't matter. Two. Elijah. He always sneaking and doing something. Three. Okay, that's a different size. Twenty pairs all set out right there. And I'm going to put the rest back in. And once I do that, I'll come back and show you guys how I do this. Okay, y'all, so have everything put up and these are going to go just like that i think that is so adorable oh my gosh <laughs> let me um and my hot glue gun is ready here so you're just going to and watch yourself i'm going to put it on edges there <laughs> so just a little bit around the edges 
Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, and be careful. And I'm just going to stick it down. And there you go. You're going to do the same to the other side. You really just need like a thin strip. Okay. Decline. I hate 800 numbers. And now just stick it on. And that's the first pair of Mickey Mouse invitations. Those are so cute. I'm so excited. <sighs> okay. Even though it's a little off center, but that's how they look. So I'm going. Okay, you guys, so I am done. And these are what these two look like. These are my last two. I'm gonna pin around. And these are the other 18 here. I just laid them out on the floor. That's still my school eye bag that I need to send away. And I found the footage of me um, cleaning out this closet. I had already put it onto my computer, so I just need to edit it now. But this is all of the finished well almost finished invitations um i have to now change the date and the time and the place of the wording and then i will put them on the back so stay tuned for that i'm gonna take a picture of this yeah, right. whoa, 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 whoa. i gotta hold this down 